Hello, and welcome to CME Group. Well, this isn't CME Group, obviously. CME Group has a lot more furniture. Look, I could tell you everything you need to know about our global financial exchange and the importance of futures and risk management products in today's world, but instead, I'd rather show you. If you want to know what CME Group is all about, it's really quite simple. Well, no, it's not, actually. It's really one of the most complex and specialized businesses in the world, with enormous global impact and lots of terminology and economic formulas and technical analysis. But let's start simply with one word. That's not the word I was looking for. That word. You see, if you own a business in today's world or manage money for investors, risk is all around you every day. So what am I talking about? Well, if you're in the business of making cornflakes, it could be the risk of corn prices rising because a hot, dry summer is about to reduce the harvest. In that case, it would be great to lock in a price for that corn now and avoid those higher costs. Or let's say you're a U.S. manufacturer buying parts in Europe. You're worried that the euro is going to rise, making the parts that you need more expensive. But what if there was a place that helped people navigate this kind of business or financial risk? What if another person was interested in taking over the very risk that you wanted to avoid? That's what CME Group makes possible. We are a financial exchange, a marketplace for buyers and sellers. We bring together people, companies, and institutions who see an advantage in trading one financial position for another. So, how does it all work? Well, before I can tell you that story, I have to tell you this story. Oh boy. Really, we're talking about the simple balance between supply and demand. Okay, think of it this way. The cost of just about everything there is in the world has to do with how much of it there is on one hand, and on the other, how badly people want it. The number of items people want and suppliers are willing to make depends on the price of the item. As the price of a product goes up, suppliers are willing to make more of it. On the other hand, as the price of a product goes down, more people are willing to buy it. The price something is sold for is a balance of the supply and the demand. More demand and less supply, price goes up. Less demand and more supply, price goes down. But watch, I can make this even clearer. There we are, that's better. This is a 1940 Flash Comics, issue number one. Ooh, it's in such short supply that just one of these in pristine condition is worth over $100,000. But let's say someone, somehow, discovered millions of this particular comic. It wouldn't be nearly as rare, would it? With the supply suddenly so high, the price would plummet. In fact, the price of the comic would drop to about the cost of a Sunday newspaper. So, more demand than supply, prices go up. More supply than demand, prices go down. Congratulations, you're a microeconomist. Being smart, you're thinking, but the world doesn't operate on some fantastic global comic book based economy. And alas, you're right. The world economy is based on all sorts of things that are bought and sold every day. CME Group provides markets for them, from agricultural crops and livestock to metals and natural resources to stock indexes to interest rates and foreign currencies. It truly is a global marketplace. And CME Group is one of the world's biggest forums for buying and selling. Did I mention risk? At CME Group, buyers and sellers do more than buy and sell commodities and financial products. These traders come to our exchange to remove risk for their business or to make money as an investor when prices fluctuate. When you trade large amounts of anything in today's world, uncertainty and risk are the enemy. And protecting yourself from risk all comes down to speed 
and timing. What does risk really look like? Well, let's start back on our supply and demand diagram. In the middle of supply and demand is a meeting point where the price for a product is set. But prices, whether for corn or crude oil or even dollars, move all the time, from month to month or even from second to second. So the price of what you buy or sell today could be higher tomorrow or it could be worth less. Ah, but there is a way for a trader to absolutely know that future price by putting it into a binding contract with another trader. These contracts are what's being traded at CME Group. They're called futures and options on futures. Agreements between two traders to buy or sell an amount of something at a future date. A buyer of a futures contract can lock in the price of an item for delivery at a future date. But before that item actually shows up at your doorstep, you can sell your contract to another buyer. In fact, most futures contracts are sold long before the potential delivery date. Only someone with a need for the product would take delivery of the final contract. If buyers aren't sure they want a futures contract, they can buy an option, which guarantees their right to purchase a futures contract at a fixed price. So they're not obligated to buy the futures contract, but they do have the option. That way, if market prices rise or fall between today and some point in the future, traders can exercise their option and avoid a risk and potentially profit from the change in price. With either futures or options on futures, the buyer gets a safety net in case prices move in the wrong direction. So who are these smart, attractive people who come to CME Group to buy and sell futures and options contracts? They could work for banks, corporations, governments. They could be livestock ranchers, investment managers, construction planners, farmers, food manufacturers, really just about anyone in the world who wants to manage the risk of fluctuating prices. But it all comes down to two kinds of trading, hedging and speculating. Now, these two go hand in hand. If you took one away, there would simply be no market. That's because you need both sides to balance risk. On this side of the trade is our hedger. He buys and sells futures and options contracts at CME Group in order to protect himself from price swings in the future. By locking in a future price, he makes his costs and his profits more predictable. Put simply, he trades to drive risk out of his business. But this risk doesn't just disappear into thin air. It's actually being transferred to our speculator. A speculator isn't really interested in owning the product being traded, but he is interested in trading the contracts for those products. Think of it like investing, buying and selling contracts in order to make a profit when prices move. To do that, a speculator has to do some very technical math to decide if the risk is worth it. And when the price changes work out in his favor, he makes the trade and makes a profit. So hedging transfers risk, speculating absorbs that risk. It takes both types of trading to bring balance to the market and keep trades flowing back and forth. Which brings us to the subject of liquidity. Here's another really key concept in the world of futures and options trading. When a contract is sold and a trader makes money, ideally, that's when a trade is said to be liquidated. The more trading there is in a particular market, the easier it is to find someone who's buying what you're selling. That's liquidity. Let's say you've got this very risky position in the market that you want to exchange for a less risky position. Well, without enough liquidity in the market and someone to trade with, you're in a rather confined space. But. When there are other contracts to buy and sell, you've got a much better chance to find a willing partner and shift your risk. And when you have a market that's really active, full of participants and contracts being bought and sold, you have a much better chance to find a willing partner to absorb your risk. Or if you're a speculator, a better chance to profit from taking on someone else's risk. And that's exactly what CME Group is particularly known for the most liquid futures and options markets in the world. Even bigger than this.
Okay. We've talked about how supply and demand can create fluctuations in prices, and we've talked about how traders want to manage their risk by locking in a future price or by predicting how a price will move in the future. And we've immersed ourselves in liquidity. But there are a few more important things that CME Group makes possible. See, it's also the job of CME Group to monitor the integrity of every trade that moves on our exchange. That's called clearing a trade. Long before a trade goes from point A to point B, we check the financial strength of both parties, whether they're a big institution or an individual trader. We make sure that the buyer and seller agree to the price, quantity, and timing of the contract. Then, whether the contract is liquidated five minutes or five months later, we guarantee the terms that each party originally agreed to. The centralized clearing function provided by CME Group allows us to step in as the counterparty to every trade. That means we act as the buyer to every seller and the seller to every buyer. At the time the trade takes place, all traders must make a financial deposit with us. That protects against potential losses that may occur as prices move up and down in the market. In addition, we check the accounts twice a day to make sure losses don't add up. This virtually eliminates the risk of either party failing to fulfill their end of the trade. By being at the center of every transaction on our exchange, we can protect everyone's interest and ensure the integrity of the market. Now, when a trade clears, the price for whatever is being sold is seen by everyone in the market, simultaneously, to keep things fair. The new contract price flashes on these enormous electronic signs above our trading floor, where hundreds of traders are making deals. It also appears on computer screens everywhere. In fact, you don't have to be in Chicago to trade at CME Group. That's because there's something called Globex, which CME Group provides all of its trading customers around the world. It's CME Group's online network and electronic trading platform. Powerful technology built for speed. Did you see that? That was 1 30th of a second. If you blinked, you might have missed it. In that time, yes, just like that, in that time, CME Globex can complete over 140 trades electronically. That's the same as one trade every 15 one thousandth of a second. It's getting faster all the time. In fact, CME Globex is so fast that an electronic signal carrying a trade can circle the Earth four times in one second. So when you combine that speed with all our trading hubs around the world serving all our global trading customers and you multiply that by all the liquidity in our markets, you get some very big numbers. Close to three billion trades a year that add up to one thousand trillion dollars. So now you know what CME Group does. But what does CME Group create? Well, it's not what we make. It's what we make possible. We're like a safety net for businesses around the world, protecting them from uncertainty, giving them the confidence to make decisions faster, which helps them grow their business. And that sense of confidence changes everything. When companies have confidence, they put more money into creating new products, and they start selling them to more consumers in different countries. When financial institutions have confidence, they invest in those companies, which allows economies to grow and jobs to be created. What we do at CME Group even helps make home mortgages more affordable. It makes farming and food manufacturing more efficient. It supports prosperity and progress all over the world. So that's our story. So simple, really. Well, I know. But it's simple for us, because we've been running an exchange for over 160 years now. Just remember, the next time you enjoy a box of cornflakes or anything else you get at the grocery store, someone helped take the risk out of bringing these products to you. That's the big idea. And that's CME Group. Hmm. Definitely lower risk. See ya.